Alrighty, testing, testing. Man, if you already read the title of this video, you already know we're in for a loop. I can't believe that this is episode 17 of Diary of a Walmart Employee, which is technically based off of the last book. For now, for now though. <laughs> and guys, in case you're worried, Walmart videos are not gonna go anywhere. I can't wait to show you guys what we have planned. But regardless, let's make this episode count. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Walmart. I could talk about this job for hours and hours on end and still have so much left to say. And I can already feel the comments. This guy has infinite stories! <laughs> Walmart, or any retail job in particular, really puts your social skills to the test. Oh, because the baddest girl would approach you and you have to talk to them. Hey, how much is this? Um, $7 and your number? I mean, your social security? I mean... Throughout my time there, my manager was showing me more and more skills in the store and a big one was talking through the intercom here you go Jorge say the store is closing um okay attention everyone the store is closing so please leave um I can't I can't do this <laughs> yep I would get way too nervous I can't imagine the customers faces when I did this and that's not the only story I have with the intercom because this one time while I was working out of nowhere on the speakers you just hear attention Walmart customers can I get a Get away from there! Yep, some kids managed to get a hold of the microphone for the intercom. <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing. Hey, that was very inappropriate. You guys need to have these things more control. Sorry, ma'am, but we try our best. Kids could have heard that. Kids were the ones who said it. Somebody always has to ruin the fun. Where's your man? Manager. And half of the time when Karen's asked for a manager, the manager decides to disappear. Like my dad going to get milk. Poof! Gone. He's not here, ma'am. Want to talk to the assistant manager? Sure, let me do that. And our assistant manager, his name was Chris. And this dude was my age, if not a little younger than me. This is the assistant manager? Yes, ma'am. What's poppin'? Ugh, never mind. I'll go talk to corporate. Whatever. Tell them I said what's up. And we had to deal with these kind of people nonstop. Karen Overload. Ah, that's the name of the video. Kind of proud of that one. I'm saving the best for this episode. Like this one time, this one lady got really mad because she couldn't find a specific type of baby food that she needed. Hey, can you go check the back? And if you guys know anything about retail, the back of a store is nothing but sealed boxes 20 feet high with no lid. Labels. So there's no way that we can find her baby food. Sorry, ma'am, but there's no way I can check for your baby food. Fine, I'll check then. Wait, you'll check? How are you gonna do that? And this lady starts marching towards the employee-only doors. And lo and behold, she barges in. Baby food, baby food. She's literally checking the back. And just when you've seen it all. I love how I keep on rocking back and forth between sentences. And there's like one big step, talk. Another big step, talk. So it's like a dance. Ma'am, you can't be in the back. Don't tell me what to do. This goes on for 15 minutes until my manager has to find security. Hey, don't put your hands on me or I'll scream to the top of my lungs. Then leave, ma'am. Wait till I tell corporate. Corporate does not care about this one bit. Already scene change. <laughs> Anyways, while on the topic of security, these guys were absolute savages. Oh, because they were always catching people stealing. Sir, come with us. Yeah, they would get the customer and bring them to a private room where they have to interrogate them. They would get their IDs and whatnot as well. It's kind of scary to be honest, but hey, they're doing their job and they're saving the day. Sir, come with us. Man, I didn't do anything. What's in the bag? Uh... And every single one of my female coworkers would flirt with these guys. The main reason was because they were huge and jacked and pretty brave. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, they were very brave. Oh my god, I'm in love with them. And us little guys, we'd get a little frustrated. Man, we're cute too, right? Nah, we could never. We could never. <laughs> I remember a coworker asking one of the security guards out. Sorry, hon, but I have a wife and son. Please, just give me a chance. No can do, ma'am. Maybe I can introduce you to my son. He's 18. Wait, so how old are you? 38. Yeah, these guys would always look so good for their age as well. Because homie honestly looked 25. Y'all, y'all. I'll rate this painting. Y'all like it? Picasso. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, just when you think I'm done, there's one crazy thing that I just remembered that I can't believe I've never talked about. And ladies and gentlemen, those are console releases. Slide to the left. More specifically, the PS5 release. I remember trying to find one of these bad boys was so impossible, especially when they first came out. And we did not have any on the store shelves. But that did not matter. People would still find a way to ask. <laughs> Thank you for calling Walmart. Hey, y'all got any PS5s? No, sir, we don't. 
Do you hear that garbage truck? I don't know if y'all can. Backing up. Okay, he's done. Yeah, but although we didn't have any PS5s on the sales floor, we actually had a couple pre-ordered that were shipped to the store. And they were chilling in the back, locked inside a private room. Bro, there's like 20 PS5s in there. Dude, this is a gold mine. And when people came to pick up their orders, you bet a whole crowd would form around them when they would leave the store with the box. Bro, how much? Oh, this isn't for sale. I'll give you 500 bucks and my girl. Your girl? Oh, hell nah. And Karen's would always find a way to get mad. You can tell my frustration. Hey, you just told me that there weren't any PS5s. But look, that guy just left with one. It's because he had a pre-order, ma'am. I don't care what that means. Sell me a PS5. I can't, ma'am. Fine, I'll go get one myself. And this lady literally walked to the back. Security. Hey, let me go. No can do, ma'am. You are banned from this store for good. Yeah, go get him. Also, take me out on a date. What? No, huh? Whatever. Trash can again. Or not trash can. Tra garbage truck. Garbage truck. I just had a trash can is backing up. Yep, it would be a crazy job, ladies and gentlemen. But it's a job I'll forever be grateful for and memories and stories that I'll never forget. So with that, thank you for shopping with us and we hope to see you again real soon. Again, this is not the end of Walmart, trust me guys. But for the meantime, follow the Twitch, follow the Instagram, subscribe to the Clips channel, subscribe to the Spanish channel. Um, yeah, it's a lot of channels now. But thank you guys so, so much for watching and especially this series. Bye, see y'all soon.